A very great day to the Honourable Judges, presenting you our project, Net Pots for Seedling Planting. I am Siti Sarah Elisha Bitu Jalil. And I am Siti Nur Aisha Binti Azhari. We are from SMK King George V. Problems with polyethylene bags or plastic planter. Firstly, it is non-biodegradable. Instead, it undergo photodegeneration or process of breaking into smaller toxic particles. Next, it gives harmful effects. Plastic are carcinogenic and plastic also promotes endocrine disruption. Besides that, polybags can cause stress to organism. Animals that eat the small particle often choke to death. And gentlemen, let's now focus on the objective of our project. Firstly, to develop biodegradable pots that are intended to be planted in the soil together with the plant. Furthermore, to reduce the amount of pollutants caused by one-time use plastic polybags filled with chemicals. Other than that, biodegradable pots are used for a short-term pre-production and also are expected to reduce transplant shock. Materials, sawdust and natural glue. Sawdust. The sawdust that we use in this project is collected from dust of cutting board in the workshop at frame, making it recycled or reused material. The sawdust is then processed in refinery machine until there is a fine and sandy consistency. Making of natural starch. First step is scooping of 4 tablespoon of tapioca starch, then add some distilled water. Next, stirring process. Then, heat the starch for 45 minutes and let it cool down for 15 minutes. There is our final product. We weight the sawdust precisely to 80 grams to mix it with the starch adhesive that was made from one part of starch and two parts of water. After mixing the sawdust with the starch adhesive, metal peel is used as a mold for creating the pot. The mixture is then placed inside the inner part of the peel to replicate a pot shape. The pots are then dried in a 60 degrees oven for a solid of 24 hours. Some samples are also made in a rectangular shape to get the suitable ratio of starch to adhesive. The final product of the dried pots are as shown. Firstly, strength test. This pot can withstand 1 kg of weight. The next test is pot lifespan. Experiment is carried out to check the state of pot after several days being watered with 200 milliliters of water per day to each plant that is plant 1 and plant 2 that has the same seed, chili seed, but placed in different areas with different exposures to sun and rain. This table shows cost comparison of polybags or pots. We can see that the cost to produce nut pots for seed planting is lower than plastic flower pot plant nursery flower pot and biodegradable farm greenhouse seedlings nursery cup. As presented, this is the result of strength test of the pot. The pot can withstand weight from 200 grams to 1000 grams. Figure shows pot A, 2 weeks after seed germination, 3 weeks after seed germination, and 2 months after being placed outside without the exposure of rain. Next, figure shows pot B directly after seedling is planted and after 2 weeks where pot B began to break down. Pot C placed in the soil 2 weeks after seed germination. 3 weeks after being placed in the soil, pot C slowly breaks down. Firstly, strength test. This pot can withstand 1 kg of weight. Next, pot's lifespan. Pot A is stronger than pot B. Pot A can stand longer than pot B because pot A is not exposed to rain. While pot B begin to break down because it was placed outdoor with rain exposure. The pots break down slowly as it expands and become weaker. Last, lastly, pot C. Pot C function well as pot C break down in the soil which makes the root able to sprout and give nutrients to the plant itself. Ladies and gentlemen, let's now discuss about the cost comparison. As a result, cost of producing the product was low as we use recycled material and starch as a natural strengthener. The usage of sodas adds value to the byproduct and also decreases the abundant amount of disposals. The pots can withstand high mass, but they have low tolerance of water, 
which makes the pot more likely to break down before it can be transferred to the soil. Pot's lifespan. Normally, chili seed takes up to 60 days to fully grow, and the germination of rubber seed too will take up to 2 weeks. Oil palm needs 120 to 150 days of germination before being planted within the soil, which makes the pot itself incompatible with the plant. To overcome this issue, we propose to make multiple types of pot with different lifespan to suit the requirement of each plant and seedling as a future project. The pots can be made by adding other recyclable composts such as coconut husk, empty fruit bunch of oil palm, and any other natural waste. Thank you for lending us your ears. Lastly, Nut Pots, a solution for the environment.